Have you ever struggled to speak either with or in front of people in authority? And if so, what happened? My name is Michael Williams, Pro90D.com founder and speech coach. And today we are going to be tackling the challenge of how to speak either in front of or with people in authority. Now I've worked with people for more than a decade and I've heard from some of my self-study students and one thing that I found that they struggle with that's very, very common is to perform well, that is to smoothly, calmly, clearly, and confidently articulate their thoughts when there's someone in authority in the room or on the call. Does that happen to you? So in this video series, we're going to cover three specific areas. Number one, we are going to talk about what happens when you struggle to speak with or in front of people in authority. What do you think? How are you feeling? How are you speaking? What happens to your ability to articulate your thoughts in those situations? Okay, so we're going to talk about exactly what happens. Now you're probably wondering, well, well, Michael, I already know what happens <laughs> because it happens to me. But it's very important that we outline, and in a sense, detail some of the very specific behaviors and reactions and emotions and thoughts that you have when you're speaking to someone or in front of someone in authority. Why? Because if we can outline what we don't want to happen, like what's currently happening, then it makes it a lot easier for us to be clear about what we do want to happen. We don't want this, but we do want that. So how do we know what we want? Well, one way is to look at what we don't want, what's happening to me currently. And so we want to raise our awareness of what we're thinking, of what we're feeling, of even how we prepared for that interaction, right? And then how we're speaking. So we want to talk about those things. So that's the first thing that we're going to talk about. The second thing that you and I will look at is why does this happen, right? What are some of the psychological triggers that cause this to happen? What are some of the thought patterns that we have that cause us to perform poorly in front of people or around people with people in authority? Because what happens is when you don't perform well, in front of someone in authority, then what happens is that you don't appear to be as competent and confident as you actually are, right? You know your stuff, you're very competent, and in most other situations you're very confident, but when it comes to speaking to or around people in authority, that doesn't come across and that can impact your career, yes? All right, so to talk about why this happens. Very important to understand why. Why? Because when we look at the solution, what are some of the immediate steps we can take to turn this around, what we'll be doing is detailing and or looking at, okay, here's a psychological or mental or emotional or habitual reason why this happens, and here's what we can do about it, and here's why this happens, and here's what we can do about it. Does that make sense? So that's why it's important to look at why it happens uh, because it helps us and it helps you understand why you're going to be implementing the steps and the strategies and techniques that I share with you in this video. So you'll know why, you'll understand why you're doing it. So that's what we're going to be doing. So in the very next video, we will do what? We'll go back and look at what happens when you struggle with your speech in front of or around people in authority. Now, let me just add this. This can also apply to large groups of people. We can have a similar reaction if we're speaking to a certain number of people. We can have a similar reaction if we're speaking to certain kinds of people. So there are some people who have certain temperaments and when we're around them, it triggers something, right? We're simply not able to speak as well, to perform as well when we're around certain kinds of people. So the content that you get here 
can also apply to those kinds of speaking situations. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.